Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to run a thermocouple bypass test. And you can use this when you get a thermocouple fail message on your controller. Um, and this will just tell you if it's a problem with the thermocouple or with the controller. So we've got the fail message. And one thing to note, you can always just push anywhere on the screen to stop the beeping, but it won't clear the message. So you can figure out what the error code exactly is before clearing it. So you can see we've got a fail on TC2. We're in a single zone mode. So I'm going to go ahead and power the controller off. And then you're going to remove the, the four screws from the corners and pull the controller away from the kiln so we can get access to the thermocouple terminals. So go ahead and power it off and start removing the controller from the kiln. Okay, so once you've got the controller removed from the kiln and the kiln is powered off, we're going to go ahead and remove the thermocouple. So we're going to pull that from out of there. We've got one. Okay, so we've got the thermocouple removed. Now we're going to place one of our jumpers in this space where the thermocouple was to connect the two leads. Okay, so now you can see we've got our jumper in place. So now what we're going to do is we're going to power the kiln back on and check the temperature. Okay, so once we've got that connected, we're going to go ahead and power the kiln back on. I'm going to go through its startup. We're going to go ahead and hit cancel on this, it's just resetting the Wi-Fi. Now we're going to check our current temperature, right here. So if the current temperature reads a normal room temperature, then it's a problem with your thermocouple. If it reads an outrageous number, then that means that there's something wrong with the circuit board on the controller and it likely needs repaired. That's it for now, so check our website for updates, like us on Facebook, or sign up for our e-newsletter for more information. Thanks!